If you want to compete at pickleball, you must have defense. But what does this really mean in terms of a point or a rally? Today, we're going to cover one of the most overlooked shots in pickleball. If hit correctly, this shot can make you a bigger defensive threat and help you compete at a higher level. Let's get into it. Welcome to High Five Pickleball, where we help you play better, win more, and make the most of your time on the court. My name is Adam Richards, and today we're covering the fourth shot in every pickleball rally. The first three shots in pickleball are incredibly important because they set the stage for the rally to unfold. But how you handle the fourth shot is just as important and often overlooked. Because the serve and return both have to bounce means the returning team gets to the net first and gains an advantage. As the returning team, you should be looking to do a few things with every fourth shot. You want to keep your opponents back away from the net at all costs. Keeping them back helps you maintain your advantage at the net for as long as possible. You also want to apply constant pressure without making unforced errors. If you hit an easy neutral fourth, this invites your opponents to the net and gives them physical and mental momentum into the rally. If you don't apply pressure on the fourth shot, it sends the message that if it was easy to approach the net on the fourth, the rest of the rally could be easy too. Either way, with every fourth shot, you want to make your opponents earn their way to the net and make it as difficult as possible and we'll cover exactly how to do this next. But before we do that, I wanna give you a free gift. It's called the Path to Better Pickleball. This is a 30-day challenge focused on the 10 important skills every player needs to know. After signing up, you get a free downloadable skills guide and 10 step-by-step -step videos sent straight to your inbox every few days. Over a thousand pickleballers have joined and I've gotten some great feedback. If you'd like to improve your game, sign up by clicking the link in the description. All right, let's get into it. For the sake of this video, we're going to start at the net and look at a few scenarios where the third shot is attackable or unattackable, with attackable being a ball you can take out of the air and hit down on with pace. But once you're at the net, you want to be ready and in an attack position. Your knees are bent, you're in an athletic stance, and you're looking to take the ball out of the air. The closer to the non-volley zone line you are, the more dangerous you become. This slight change can make a huge difference in how you approach the fourth shot. If your opponent's third shot is attackable, whether it's a drop or a drive, you want to take it out of the air, hit down on it with pace, and hit it at your opponent's feet. Your goal with this is to send it back at your opponent's feet with pace. In an ideal situation, you will hit the ball to the person who is furthest away from the net to keep them back. But you will also want to avoid any poachers, so be on the lookout for that. If your opponent hits a third shot drop that is unattackable and you have to let it bounce, there are a few things you can do. You can let the ball bounce, take a step back, and drive it back at their feet. You'll want to aim at the person who is furthest away from the net to keep them back. There will be times when you can't attack down on the ball, but you can still apply pressure, keep them back, and hit the ball to their backhand. Lastly, there are third shot drops that go to your backhand that you must let bounce. On these occasions, you may be stretched wide or the shot is just too good to apply pressure. Instead of forcing a shot, it's best to keep it in play and return an unattackable dink. If your opponent drives their third shot and the drive is unattackable, you want to focus on staying calm and returning the shot back at your opponent's feet. 
You may be tempted to hit a sharp angle or to paint the line, but this opens the door for unforced errors. It's better to block or punch the shot and return it at your opponent's feet. You also want to avoid any poacher in this situation as well, so be on the lookout. If your opponent's third shot is attackable and high, another shot you can try is to drop the ball and tap it just over the net to try and end the rally. However, if your opponents have great mobility and can get to this, this is a quick invitation to the net, so just be mindful of your opponents. Lastly, one more bonus tip. If you're the partner to the returner and you're already at the net during the return, you can step to the middle when your opponent is hitting their third shot. This is an easy way to add extra pressure and to attack high shots. But be mindful if your opponent can hit down the line because this leaves that shot open. Were these tips helpful? If so, let me know in the comments. Your feedback helps shape content for the future. If you learned something new or if you like this content, please remember to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss another update from High Five Pickleball. Thanks for watching.